How's it going? Welcome to this tutorial where we'll be modeling a micro Uzi in Blender 2.9. Uh, this is the um, the end results. This is what we'll be doing. We'll do it from from scratch uh, to 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 this. So that's what it's going to look like. Let's get started. So what I will do is let me just drop in my keys. So you can follow along to the left. just so we can follow along you'll see the keys there because I'll talk through it but I won't talk through all the keys you can just see them there first things we're going to do is we're going to drop in a reference image uh, so I go front view uh, drop in a reference image Ima image reference I'll use two references here so we'll scale that up a bit grab it pop it there and drop in another reference different so in this first video what we do is we just do the block out so the main thing to get is the general overall shape portion of the of the weapon um, and we can crack on so let's just delete those X delete uh, grab these references just move them back in the, in the Y and then we can see this go front view uh, wireframe and we'll start blocking out so the main thing we'll do is we'll block out all of this and then we'll start entering secondary tertiary details to it so first thing let's do, let's grab the, the standard cube, scale it in the Z, uh, grab scale, it, grab it, move it in the Z up. So, so we can see scale in the X. The X. Uh, let's add another cube. Grab that cube there and we'll put it there. Scale it. General shape, just control D duplicate that grab that one there we just reuse that one scale in the Z get that general shape there control D duplicate that um, actually let's undo that grab that just use this one control D grab it move it up into the Z X do some scale in the Z that general shape and then to scale in the Z. X there. Uh, I can scale in the Y a little bit just so we can see it. Y frame. Front view. Uh, let's drop in a, another cube. Duplicate that cube, move it over there, pop it down, scale it in the Z a bit, grab it in the Z, scale it in the X. Shift D, duplicate that, we'll just use that one again. Over there, make it scale it in the X. Perfect. Um, what we can do is we just use that one again, grab that one, shift D, scale in the Z, scale in the X, grab it and we'll use that one there. That one's fine. Add another cube, scale it down, grab that, we we'll use that for the trigger. duplicate it, just move it over there, uh, what we could do is just rotate it there, grab it there and we'll use that one to extrude out there, um, and we just need the magazine so what we could do is we could just grab that cube, duplicate it, grab it, move it down, scale in the X, 
move it so we can see it there. Let's go into Z. Let's move that down. Let's go into X a bit. That's fine. So what we've got here is we'll just extrude that out. Make sure that goes all the way across actually. So I've just got a front view there. Scale in the X. Perfect. So add a cylinder. Before we do anything, add a cylinder. Go down there. It's increase the vert count to 64. Uh, rotate on the Y axis 90 degrees. Scale it down. Grab that. Pop that there. And scale it down again. Grab the Z. Scale it in the X. About right. Duplicate it. We'll just scale it down again. Uh, grab in the X. Move that one there. Slightly down, scaling the X again. Perfect. Cool. So let's just work on the triggers. Let's grab that one. It's got a vertex mode. Let's grab these verts there, like that in wireframe, and we're just going to extrude it down. What we're going to do is we're going to create verts here, and then we'll create the shape at the end. So we'll just extrude it down, keep it straight uh, on the right hand side. Just creating some verts so we can create that curvature. might not be the quickest, best method of doing it. Uh, I've been using Blender for about a, just over a month now. So using loads of tutorials, which are awesome. So I just thought I'd give back to the community a bit uh, in my own way. Hopefully it's helpful. Um, any comments, just throw in the bottom there. Better ways of working. Throw me to do some tutorials. Always happy to learn any other contents you guys want. I mostly do 3D printing. 112 scale, so in the name, the 112s or 112 scale. Um, so, this weapon will be 3D printable at the end. Um, most of my designs I do, all of my designs I do are for 3D printing. Um, so, it will be 3D printable. So, this one, I'm just going to grab it and we'll grab it in the X. Just keep that straight at the bottom. So we know that's straight, that's the general curvature there. Uh, let's go back to object mode and grab the trigger here. What we're going to do is just do the same thing. We're going to edge mode. Just grab that edge, extrude it. Right click to cancel, G for grab, and then we've got movement in it. So, what we can do is we can create that bit of curvature. So, we'll create that there. We'll rotate it, extrude it out, rotate it, extrude it out, rotate it, extrude it out. Again, we can fix up all the proportions and stuff, which we will do. Uh, just general shape for now and then we just skate it in at the end there um, let's go object mode let's grab here edge grab that edge again what we'll do is we'll just extrude it let's scale in the X the uh, actually select all a scale in the X double tap X to get it on and there let's rotate that It'll just be easier now actually let's grab that the edge again Let's extrude that out. Uh, let's rotate it. Extrude. Grab in the Z. Extrude down. Rotate it. Again, just grabbing it. Extruding. Rotating. Give us that general shape. Just rotating and extruding. G to grab. Perfect. This is general shape. We can fix up all the proportioning and a bit of curvature uh, later on. So let's see what we've got here. Let's go back to solid view. All right. So we can see all the proportioning is a bit off. So what we can do is just grab, grab that, grab all these, um, and we can extrude. Extrude. No man, cancel that. Not extrude. Scale in the Y. Perfect. Grab that one. Scale in the Y. 
but again we'll fix this all up this is the main blocking I grab these two scale in the Y grab that one scale it in the Y we will fix all of this up again all right so this is gonna but I just I didn't grab them all all right so what we'll do quickly is um, we'll fix that so just go back you know wireframe mode select object mode select that X delete um, just throw in a cube scale it down grab it there uh, let's rotate it zoom in go edge mode let's grab those edges just make sure we've got all the edges here so you can see we've actually selected them all now and then we just do it again extrude there rotate extrude rotate extrude rotate extrude rotate extrude rotate cancel it just grab it there and we can just straighten it up we'll rotate it to straighten it up let's grab it again with G with the grab rotate extrude rotate object mode grab it there and that should be good um, perfect we'll fix it all up once we solidify it more later on Go object mode let's scale it in the Y can make that a bit wider uh, same with the trigger perfect uh, this is protruding out so let's get that let's scale it in the Y and just get that out that's good cool so that looks like it is pretty much got all the uh, the main blocking out what we'll do in the next one is we'll start adding a bit more shape to it um, but this is a good place to stop so thank you and see you in the next one